What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ace Operative here, and we're coming back to you with another versus match between Kushina Uzumaki versus Tsunade Senju. Operatives, stand by for battle! Kushina Uzumaki is married to Minato Namikaze, 4th Hokage, also known as the Yellow Flag. Kushina became a high-ranking Kunochi, famed for her unique ninjutsu style. Her nature transformations include wind, water, and yin release. While still an academy student, Kushina proved to be a strong and fierce barehanded fighter, being able to beat several kids half to death for teasing her, earning the nickname Red Hot Blooded Habanero. As an Uzumaki, Kushina was blessed with a strong life force, granting her tremendous chakra reserves and vitality. This also gave her tremendous stamina, healing powers, and longevity. Ultimately, this trait let her survive the Nine Tails of Scratching minutes after giving birth, and still provided great aid to Minato on the battlefield shortly after her despite heavy exhaustion. Moving on to Tsunade Senju, Tsunade has ex excellent control over her chakra, a necessary prerequisite to her job as a medical ninja. After the Second Shinobi World War, she started gradually storing her chakra into the strength of a hundred seal on her forehead. When the seal is released, Tsunade has access to all the accumulated chakra, totaling a so named hundred times her usual chakra levels. Although she normally uses this extra chakra to heal injuries or perform her other jutsu, she can also transfer the chakra to others, either to replenish or amplify their own. Alright, keep in mind, and since this is Storm 4, Kushina is not able to use any type of kunais or any type of ninja tool. So she will be using her cooking utensils in order to fight Tsunade. Will that be a disadvantage? We'll just have to wait and see. Get ready for a red hot blooded battle between two of the most strongest Kanoichi of the past generation. Enjoy. Fatality! Alright y'all, allow me to explain why I chose Kushina to be the winner of this match. Alright, 
Keep in mind, she has the nine-tailed fox. And when she goes awakening, she's able to tap into the nine-tailed fox's chakra. We've all seen it happen with Naruto. And if you remember, whenever you tap into that nine-tailed power, you get instant healing, you get instant power, and you go instant crazy. Unless you tamed the nine tails. Now, with Kushina, uh, as soon as she used some of that nine tails power, it didn't matter what Tsunade did to her. She was able to erase all of the damage. And then she was able to attack Tsunade. Now, I bet you're wondering, Ace, why? Why isn't this, uh, Tsunade can do the same thing? Yes, you're right. Tsunade can do the same thing. However, there's a limit. Even though she can pretty much and to recover her chakra maybe for days is she's eventually going to run out of energy on recovering because that's that chakra reserve and what she has sooner or later that's going to be gone within the nine tails the nine tails has a plethora of chakra which means means Kushina can deal unlimited amount of abuse to Tsunade therefore or Tsunade would lose. lose. If Storm 4 allowed her to have like the out, I think it was Storm 3 showed her Milotic regeneration on her face. I don't know why they took that away, but eh. but also if I remember in Storm 3, you were able to summon Katsuya. But even, even with all that, Kushina would still be able to defeat Tsunade. That's why your winner is. I won! I won! Score one for Lady Kushina! So, thank you guys for watching. And let me know what you guys thought of the battle in the comment section below. Operatives, move out! Whipping all this double bitty chop out!